I'd like you to meet a friend of mine. His name is Joe. Joe is commonly called an eel. He isn't exactly what you'd call a raving beauty, is he? But he has his points. For one thing, he's quite a swimmer. As the waves travel toward the rear, the eel is propelled forward. It's 1,100 feet per second in air. Now, let's think for just a moment about what that means. They herd the eels into shallow water, and then uh, they kill them with their machetes. This is so amazing as to be almost beyond belief. But uh, this problem, compared to Joe's, is relatively simple. Yes, Joe, you're quite a fellow. You may not win any beauty contests, but you've given us a lot to think about. You've given us a new understanding of the eel who made us all. I'm taking a break from the usual intro. I'll explain more later. Let's proceed with the video. What's going on? I hope you guys are doing well. Thank you for joining me again today for another video. So today we're going to be comparing $2 canned eel versus $20 sushi restaurant eel. I've had eel plenty of times at sushi restaurant. It's pretty good. It's not my favorite, but it is pretty decent. Kind of a smoky taste the way I remember it. It's probably been over a year since I've had it last. Okay, let's plate it up. Oh, that's nice. They put it on a banana leaf. Oh, I got a new toy too. So check this out. Watch how I'm gonna open this can. This thing is awesome. It's basically a one-handed electric can opener. It's battery operated. All you do is just put it right on top of the can, push the start button. Now these electric can openers are available online. Check the link in the description box if you want to get one. I wouldn't really say I'm like an ill connoisseur or anything, but I've had it quite a few times. I'm starting out with a $20 eel. This is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna just take a piece of eel without the rice, without soy sauce or anything, and I'm just gonna give that a try, just to kind of refresh my memory. I think I detect a, like a little bit of sweetness, a little bit of smokiness. It's very much like a fish. It just has a lot of similarities with a regular fish. I'm gonna wipe down these chopsticks and get a nice pure sample of this canned eel. Now this stuff was only $2. I got it at my uh, local Asian market where I get so much of my food from. Okay, nothing, no soy sauce, just Straight out the can. Now that's good too. Similar flavor in a way, except this has some spiciness. One big difference I'll tell you about is this eel in the can almost tastes more dehydrated. There's less moisture in it. It's almost like this eel is halfway like jerky and this eel is much more fresh. Now I'm gonna try a larger piece with the rice and dip it in a nice bit of soy sauce. That's actually very good. I got a bigger piece of eel that time. It's much more meaty than the canned eel. It has more of a fresh, hydrated, meaty texture and taste. What I'm gonna do now is take some of the canned eel and have it with a bit of rice. Yeah, the canned eel is much more dehydrated, far less moisture in the meat than the restaurant eel. You can definitely tell the eel from the restaurant is fresh, juicy. You know, if I dried this canned eel out 
anymore. It'll almost be jerky. It's not tough or hard to chew through. It's, you know, still flaky like a regular fish is, but you can just tell the moisture content is not there the same way that it's in the uh, restaurant. Meal. One thing you'll probably notice about eel, whether it's from a sushi restaurant or in a can, is that the eel has tiny bones in it. I don't know if maybe the bones are so tiny it's impossible to completely debone it. Good training for him. When I bring the next one, it'll be easier. But the eel definitely has some very, very tiny bones. They're soft. It's not a choking hazard or anything like that, but it's still noticeable at the same time. You know, I never minded it too much myself, but it is there. Now, the name of this dish from the Japanese restaurant is Unagi Donbury. The lady told me it means eel over rice. This is getting kind of rough trying to handle this with the chopsticks. I might just have to use my hands in a second. I usually don't like to get my hands like really, really dirty and sticky, but I don't know if I have a choice because this is so difficult to handle whether I'm using the fork or the chopsticks. So let's just give it a try eating it by hand. That was definitely a little bit easier. I usually don't get ill that often, but to be honest, it's pretty good. Just eating kind of a large amount of it at once, I'm kind of having a new appreciation for it. Okay, let's try a little bit more of the canned ill. There's no competition. You know, ill is like the snake of the sea. Maybe I'm eating it wrong. Maybe I'm supposed to eat it, you know, like a piece of cake or something. Take my fork and just kind of, you know, you'd like slice a piece of cake with the fork. Let's try that. That seemed much easier. Now, I'm not paying much attention to this canned eel, so let me give it some attention. I want to be fair and actually give it a try. Honestly, though, it's not the flavor. It's just being so dehydrated. There's not a whole lot of substance to it. That's the best way I could describe it. I'm down to my very last piece of our sushi restaurant eel. So what I'm gonna do is take a piece of the sushi restaurant eel and the canned eel and let you guys see it side by side. You see how the canned eel is much more firm. That's because it doesn't have the moisture that the uh, sushi restaurant eel has. It's not bad, it's just a little closer to being jerky rather than fresh meat. Do you see that? That looks just a lot like fish meat. You see a layer of fat right here. And with the uh, canned eel, this looks like almost like a spine running down the middle. Very soft bones. I don't see any fat. It's probably been rendered already in the can here. Oh, look at that. The bones just lift right out. So there's no point in beating around the bush, just straight up 
The $20 restaurant eel from the sushi place was much, much better than the canned eel. And it's not even that the canned eel is bad. I would eat it if I was really hungry, but it's just more dehydrated, less substance, less of a meaty texture. I don't know if all canned eel is like this or if it's maybe just this particular brand. It's not bad, it's just nowhere near as good as the $20 restaurant eel. If you're familiar with eel from a sushi restaurant and you try the one in a can, you're probably not gonna like it so much. If you never had eel before, I mean, having some in a can will at least let you know how it tastes. You know what I do love is canned oysters. Those little smoked canned oysters, those are really good. You know, they do a really good job with those. Don't forget to go to beefstyleclothing.com, check out all the t-shirts, hats, and hoodies. This isn't my usual format of videos where I'm comparing two different foods, but trying to switch it up a little bit, but it's still gonna be the same food reviews, lots of exotic foods. I'm just gonna be adding new things in here and there. So I appreciate all you guys for watching. I'm gonna see you guys next week. So thanks again for watching. Peace, I'm out. This is only a test. This is a test of the emergency broadcast system.